Hey guys, this is a bit of a warning of what could happen tomorrow. Maybe we see a big red day on some more delisting news. And so let's dive into that. But before I do that, please let me remind everybody to please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you will get a reminder whenever I post a new video. I've been doing quite a bit of videos these days and they don't necessarily show up at your um, homepage of YouTube. So make sure to not miss out on this content. I'm not asking you to get more subscribers. It's only otherwise you may actually not see that I've posted a new video. Now back to this article and that one was actually posted yesterday in our community chat in the Patreon community by David. And while well, the thing here is the worries about the delisting and of course that issue isn't away yet, it's not solved. I have explained like the ping pong is going on back and forth. And um, well, remember when we had five Chinese names and companies that were actually named that they are going to be delisted. I think Setlab was one of them and a couple of others. And um, yeah, basically each of these companies have replied with their own um, release and uh, well, yeah, managed their investors questions. And but ultimately this really dragged down, if I remember correctly, most of the Chinese tech sector more than 10%. Uh, some of these companies were down 20% or 25%. And here it says they have a deadline until the March 29th to submit evidence to the SEC that they are not eligible to being delisted. And so let me give you a sneak peek at what's going to happen. I think this is all just um, business as usual. Um, so with the holy, uh, Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act, these companies um, need to uh, fulfill some certain rules. One of them is that uh, they uh, need to grant oversight to the um, PCAOB for um, yeah, having a second audit of the audit of the companies. And um, currently that is not uh, possible because of um, uh, Chinese law and thereby uh, these companies have no way of actually being compliant with that. And there are some other um, yeah, things which they need to be compliant with, for example, saying if there are any CCP party members on the board and things like that. But anyways, that doesn't matter here. Anyways, what the SEC has done is they have basically put those companies after filing their annual reports on the list and has said, well, you are not compliant. You have this certain deadline until you can prove that you are actually in compliance. But these companies cannot do that right now because they're still um, tied up in this fight between US and China. And they need, for example, the Chinese um, yeah, law to change or have some deal between PCLB and uh, China, essentially. And so what is going to happen is they won't meet this deadline and um, that basically gives some kind of the first strike. So basically saying the first year of non-compliance and with the Holding Foreign Com uh, Companies Accountable Act, um, it's initially around, I think, three years until the delisting or three years of non-compliance until the which get delisted. Um, I think that has brought, been brought forward to only two years. So uh, those companies, if they have like two years or three years in a row in which they cannot prove this compliance, they will get delisted or the delisting starts afterwards. So this is this two to three year timeline, basically what's going on currently here in the news. Uh, and also with this article is basically, um, yeah, a kind of a, an operational a modus operandi or a basically a process in which those authorities are working in and the media make out of it what they're making out of it. And it's a fact that these companies will get delisted in case that the US and China are not um, reaching an agreement. So that's actually the bigger thing to watch. And tomorrow you may get more news around that and maybe this will drag down Chinese stocks in general again. So that's just a heads up there. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.